Hey guys, Rob from the Off Grid Tiny House. Got a Dollarama uh, haul. It's been a while since money's been a little tight, but I got I was able to get some money together. So, I'll show you what I got. Um, first, uh, for a dollar fifty, I got these thumbtacks, and they're the they have the larger circle face on those. So I'm going to go ahead and just risk it and use these to uh, push into my foam insulation to hold the survival blanket up against the wall tight. I'll probably end up using all of these in here. And uh, a buck fifty for that. For that. Um, next, I got two of these actually. And I had some good ideas for these. Um, since my trailer guys uh the off-grid trailer you can kind of see it here um i i painted over all the old existing reflective stickers and in case i do need to replace the stickers on my trailer which i think i may have to eventually to be safety properly uh this is 10 meters per roll it was 350 and I couldn't I could I couldn't believe they even had this at the dollar store so I picked two rolls up and uh, yeah that'll run along the back ends of the t the tiny house and the sides and that way I stay legal and it's kind of a high reflective tape when you shoot a light at it I'll try it tonight I'll shoot a light at it just while it's on the roll here and see what happens but it says it's uh what's it say highly visible reflective tape strong adhesive backing reflects light in all directions and then it's temperature sensitive so they're temperature proof so that's pretty good so two of those and also I picked up while I was there I found a large, this large um, tin. It's a Star Wars card game or something. Um, it was fairly cheap, but it's a large uh, tin. And I was figuring on using the tin as my um, upgrading my two smaller tins for the bug out bag into one big one. And we'll see what's actually in here but uh and I also wanted to put um reflective tape across both sides of this um that way in the dark if you had to work on it you could uh you could uh use that so it's fairly big fairly big tin And it seals pretty well so that's good so I'm gonna upgrade my other two I'll do shoot a video on that and I recently um, redid my bug out bag and I'm gonna be ordering some stuff off a of wish eventually because I want to get the money spent on the trailer done so that's kind of the reason I got this and the reflective tape for the trailer wanted to get that damn survival blanket done up out of my way so I can continue on. I'm just going to risk it using the, you know, go, putting it through the foam. You know, there's not much I can do because adhesives do not stick to that foam. So we'll go from there. But and then whatever this, I don't, I don't under, I don't know what this card game is. But I guess if, uh, okay, so there's prequel and classic. So I guess I don't know. Oh, they're just playing cards. Oh, I see. I see, I see. Okay, cool. So, that would be like a, if you were bored in a bug out uh, situation, you, it's just a playing deck card, so whatever. So, um, I'll just put that away for like a game for entertainment or something. Um, poker, all kinds of card games we can play. Make your own card game up, whatever. But I was more interested in the case, so I'll uh, upgrade that and show you how that works out. So 
yeah my little haul here I'll get over to the trailer here shortly and get some proper work done over there finally it's been weeks with all everything going on and we'll see how things turn out but I'm gonna test this on later tonight the reflective tape just to see how well shooting a light at it at night works and hopefully it's good stuff so yeah so uh, see you on the next video guys